Hey guys, how's it going? This is Scott. I'm back. And this is an old discovery, but I wanted to check it out because so many of my things disappear after reporting it for six months or so. This is actually something I found back in 2013. And this is on Earth's moon. It's called, the crater is called Articus Crater. And it's just amazing. And I'm actually, this is actually on the NASA website itself. Uh, so what we have here is a NASA page. You see, I'm scrolling through the page itself and you can see all these cool things. And it, it is actually the NASA page I'm on. So uh, that's pretty awesome. But you do what I'm doing now. Come all the way down to this little map over here and you hit this thing and it expands. But let's show you. Let's show you this amazing, amazing structure. Now, you come over here. It's in the far, far left, right over here. You zoom in. Zoom in. It's really huge, guys. It's like 300 megabyte photo. So if you download it, you better have a new computer. I su suggest you just use their own virtual program that's on there. And there it is. Right there, you can see this structure kind of amazing isn't it now i added a little darkness a little sharpening over here so you could see it better and to me this really looks like a structure that conforms to humanity's kind of structures now a lot of alien structures won't do that okay they're going to look like someone pulled out someone's intestines and threw it against the floor this doesn't this looks like it conforms to our standards, uh, the right angles, the domes, the circular platforms, and the rectangles and squares. Look at those right angles all over this thing. Absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. And it's not alone. There are so many other things here. However, I do want to focus on this one a little bit. Let me show you where it is again so you can find it for yourself. Make your own videos if you wish. Wouldn't hurt if you gave me credit though. Uh, you don't have to, but it wouldn't hurt. Right over here, guys, right over here is where the object is. Let me zoom in, zoom in. Don't want to do it too fast. Right there, zoom in. There we are. That's a maximum I could zoom it in. However, I do have the close-up here so you could see contrast and compare. Uh, but, but alien structures are everywhere. If we just look for the, these in NASA photographs, you're going to find so much evidence. Uh, people assume there's nothing there, Scott. There's nothing there. If there's nothing there, how do I find so many things? Uh, really, anyone can do this. Anyone who puts a little bit of effort into it. The time it takes to watch uh, an episode of Star Trek Voyager or Star Trek Enterprise, uh, you could find one or two or three objects of interest and uh, maybe something that might actually go viral. So it doesn't take forever to do. Um, it just takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of belief and faith that what you're doing is going to make a difference. That what you're doing is uh, gonna change the world somehow, some way, or maybe just change a single person who's gonna create something like chaos theory, flapping a butterfly wings on one side of the earth, causing a hurricane on the other. So just wanted to show this to you, and you can zoom around here yourself, as I'm doing now. Uh, sorry, I can't zoom in any closer, it doesn't allow it. And it is a 300 megabyte photo, so it's a little hard. Wow, that looks like a structure or something. Kind of cool. Now the structure I just showed you, it looks like it's about uh, 200 meters across, 300 meters across. It's pretty big, okay, it's pretty big. Uh, but there are other structures in this. Boy, that's kind of weird too. There are many structures around and uh, this photo has quite a few things, anomalies that are very unusual. Now the white objects, some of them are broken and some of them are not. Uh, they have a white reflective luminosity. When the sun hits them, it makes them near impossible to photograph. They're so bright, so bright and so focused that uh, they're hard to photograph. What the heck is that? That looks weird. That doesn't look normal. That looks like some kind of structure or ship. Wow. 
cool. It's like the letter T, uh, one structure laying on another, laying on another. Uh, it's too uniform. It doesn't look like it's natural to me. So go through these photos, find something that's kind of unusual. Uh, black structure underneath is kind of unusual. Keep searching and sooner or later, you're going to find something. What's that? Now that looks kind of cool there. Now it's small, it's small, but it looks to me like it's important. So what I'm going to do is take that and take the screenshot, put it right there. I'm going to move this off and I'm going to enlarge it now. Watch what I'm doing. You're watching my process. This is my process and enlarged it. Now this one's not exactly the greatest quality. But it, it does show you an example of how I do things a little bit so you can see the process, do it yourself, and um, hopefully, hopefully you can learn from the process and replace me. Uh, so yes, I said replace me. I wouldn't mind you replacing me. That would be wonderful. I would like other people to do these kind of things more often. Um, Sorry, I do have a little bit of lag with this update on my computer. It's having a little bit of problem here. Um, there we go. Okay, here's the object in question. I'm going to try to focus it to the best of my ability. Let's go to deepening. Deepening does some incredible things. Wow, look at that. Do you see the structure now? Do you see that structure? To me, that looks like a structure. To me, that looks like it is a object that falls into what we call a structure, what we deem a structure should look like. Um, trying to focus it, guys. I'm trying to focus it the best I can so I don't waste your time. Look at that. That really looks like a structure to me. The shape, the the size, uh, the right angles, it all falls into that area to me. So anyway, I just want to share with you how I do these things a little bit and show you these objects do exist. Man, that's kind of cool though. And that is not too hard. It's not too hard to find, what the hell, objects that are interesting. Really, there's so many here. And if you actually, see there's a white structure right there. Uh, very strange, boxy. Another over here above this, but this is kind of a darker structure covered in dust and debris. Um, all you have to do is put a little time in. Look for these objects. Look for these objects and find objects that are interesting to you. And if it interests you, there's a high chance that it's going to interest other people. So if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I'll try to make more videos for you very soon. Guys, what the hell is a little long thing sticking out of this thing? Do you see that? You probably can't see that. It's right above my cursor. I'm going to take a screenshot, enlarge it, so I don't waste your time. You, some of you can get out of the video if you're just not interested in that. Let me try to uh, take a screenshot of it. Okay. Oh, oh, lost it. Let me take a screenshot again. Didn't arrange this very well. Okay. And take it and put it right there and open this up drop it in nope now i'm going to have to take the screenshot enlarge it and make it bigger again as you see my process um this is how i do things it must be done this way if you want to do things correctly you have to enlarge it okay let's do this add deepening to it uh there's a lot of lines around here can't tell if the lines these lines are not balanced with these uh, are the lines actually a structure or not you got to be careful with that you don't want um, pixelization or something in there so what I'm gonna do is add more darkening to see um, that doesn't help too much does it but can you see the lines right above my cursor now these lines it doesn't seem to be pixelization it seems to be part of the moon area itself now to me what looks like pixelization to other people this doesn't look like it to me these look like holy crap 
It looks like pieces of the undersurface being revealed through the surface, guys. Like um, the top of the surface is only maybe 70% covered by dirt and dust and debris. And there's structures or something sticking through. Guys, this is really, really strange. Or maybe it's just me. You decide for yourself. Uh, you make up your own mind. But for me, this is not pixelization. Wow, look at that structure right above my cursor. It's like a TR3B. Uh, this looks like part of the surface of the moon being covered. And if that's true, then it is a hollow moon. It's 100% proof that the moon itself is hollow. Guys, that's so crazy cool. Okay, let's show you one last time before I summarize this video. I want to show you one last time where the structure is. It's right over here on this little step. Right over here. Right over here. And I want you to be able to... So guys, please like and subscribe. Share this on social media as much as you can. I really appreciate it. It's not about me. The subject's not about Scott Waring. The subject is about the existence of aliens and how this is a serious and legit area of science that needs serious consideration by today's scientists. Like and subscribe. Have a good one.